Three U.S. Marines, including 19-year-old Tannen Kaltenberg of Madison, died of carbon monoxide poisoning. That's according to investigators in North Carolina. The men were found unresponsive in a privately owned car at a gas station in Hampstead, about 30 miles from Camp Lejeune, where the three Lance Corporals were stationed. A sheriff's spokesperson says the situation appears to be accidental. The sheriff's office says it received a missing person report Sunday morning from the mother of one of the Marines. The bodies were found less than an hour later. Quick thinking saves two Wisconsin siblings. They're okay tonight after a tree came crashing into their home in Hudson near the Minnesota border. 14-year-old Indiana Bono and her 9-year-old brother were home alone Monday when the storm started. Minutes later, she decided they shouldn't be upstairs. I had a feeling that the tree would fall. I ran my brother downstairs immediately right after it fell and crashed through the house. A close call. Both kids made it out unharmed. The power of instinct there, mm -hmm. right? The storms today brought some trouble, but also some benefits. Some places picked up a decent amount of rain, Mark. It was the haves and the have-nots. Mm. As it has been for much of this summer, we've only had a few of those times where everybody got the beneficial rain. But some of you did. Picked up as much as uh, three-quarters of an inch down in Racine. Sturdivant, almost seven-tenths of an inch. Mayville, uh, 5,500. 500. Sheboygan at 4,200. And then... It just kind of dropped off if you were right in the middle. The I-94 corridor did not get much, including in Milwaukee. That was at the airport. It was less in downtown. Mequon, Germantown, Menominee Falls, a trace. But it did bring this. What a beautiful shot here from Dan uh, in Pleasant Prairie. Appreciate you sharing this beautiful forked lightning picture. And uh, yeah, that's the nice thing. But always respect that lightning. All right. That was round one. Round two. And it was actually a third round. That was the strongest of the storms that came through early afternoon. And then everything was done by about 1 o'clock. A few light showers hanging around through 2. And then, of course, after that, we cleared out completely. And we are high and dry and will be as we head throughout the night tonight. One thing to watch out for, the, especially the areas that got rain, will likely be some fog. Thunderstorms way away from us now uh, over towards Detroit. Temperatures are Warm almost everywhere, not up north, 64 Rhinelander, 63 Superior, 62 Marquette. Everybody else hanging out in the 70s. This is not a misprint. It's 10 o'clock at night in Minneapolis, and it's 88 degrees. Oh, that's tough. With a dew point of 71, that makes it really nasty. Uh, dew points at 70, that's when you walk out, and it's the insta sweat. It just feels really awful. The heat index right now in Minneapolis, 10 o'clock at night is 93 degrees. They're under an excessive heat warning. Uh, because of that, it'll still be a couple more days where it is super hot. For us, two days where we do get into the nasty category in terms of uh, feels like temperatures. Heat index of 97 tomorrow, 98 on Friday. It's possible the storms come in on Friday at various times and holds our temperatures down. It's tough to time the storms out. Uh, make sure you stay tuned tomorrow on 12 News this morning. And again, uh, throughout the day, we'll have better idea on how these storms will time out and the possibility of severe storms as well. Look at the heat index. So it goes from 98 to 78 on Saturday. That will be a gigantic difference. 79 right now. It got a little busy with the boats as the, the sun came out this evening. 79 degrees, State Fair Park, eight days away closing in quiet tonight watching any showers staying up to the north tonight then watch as we work our way into late Thursday night and Friday we got these clusters of thunderstorms these are the kind of forecasts that are difficult to say exactly where these storms are going to hit and exactly the timing and that's why I want you to stay tuned for tomorrow but the threat is there and that's why there's going to be an impact day as we head into Friday outside tomorrow but be ready for the heat it's iffy with the storms and then Saturday and Sunday get outside because it is going to be nice steamy on Thursday and Friday and then much nicer as we head into Saturday and Sunday 78 and 80 degrees. Here's your seven day forecast. The pair of 90s again the impact day for the scattered thunderstorms. The beautiful weekend ahead and temperatures next week hanging out in the 80s. Not overly sticky. A really nice forecast as we work our way into next week. We'll be right back.
A college campus now sold. The former home of Cardinal Stritch University on the North Shore has been purchased for $24 million. The Ramirez Family Foundation, which opens schools around the U.S. and the world, says it has acquired the property. They say specific plans for Cardinal Stritch's campus will be developed over time. Well, now the work begins. Uh, this transaction went very smoothly. Uh, they wanted to sell to us. We wanted to buy from them. We met the financial requirements. So Cardinal Stritch is happy. We're happy. Cardinal Stritch closed in May after 86 years of operation. The university's president said financial issues and a downturn in enrollment forced them to shut down. Well, Jared is in tonight with sports. Another series win for the Brewers. And staying in first place in the process. More on what that means to the crew coming up. Plus the phone call new Packers starting quarterback Jordan Love received as training camp gets underway. Next, Big 12 Sports.